got to go and dig those holes. Man, I'm tired. With broken hands and withered souls, emancipated from all you know. You got to go and dig those holes. Thanks for coming out to help us today. We're going to show you now how to properly plant an apple tree. Once you get your tree from the tree master, you're also going to get a stick that's going to be used to ensure that your tree is planted in the hole at the right height. Um, you're going to find your location. The location's going to be marked on a string with tape as well as a circle of limestone on the ground underneath the string. So first start by digging your hole. You're going to want to dig the hole so that it's about the diameter of the limestone circle that's marking it and about the depth of shallow grave for a raccoon. Not a cat. Okay, I'm gonna dig that half of the hole. So as you dig, you want to be sure that the tape lines up generally with the center of the hole. Alright, then you're going to use your stick and lay it across the hole so that you know where the soil line is. The tree is going to go in the hole. Make sure the roots lay comfortably in the bottom of the hole and they're not bent or twisted. And then you're going to find the chalk mark on your tree towards the roots. That's going to be pointed towards the fence post at the top of the orchard. And it should also be at the height of the stick that marks your soil line. We dug a little bit too deep, so we're going to have to backfill a little bit so that the roots are sitting on dirt, not air. You want to make sure that the tree itself is vertical. It doesn't matter what's happening right down here, but this portion of the tree needs to be vertical and should be touching the string right where the tape mark is. And then you can start to fill your hole back in. One person should stay focused on the tree, making sure it stays vertical and in the right position. And then notice how she's tamping the soil down as she fills in the hole. You don't want to have any air pockets in the soil around the roots. Once you have the hole filled all the way in, you want to give it one last good tamping with your foot all the way around the tree. And make sure it's really level too with the rest of the ground. And there you go. So let's review the important points again. Remember when we put the tree into the hole that we dug, we made sure that the roots laid comfortably in the bottom of the hole. We also made sure that the white chalk mark was pointing towards the fence post at the top of the orchard, that the tree was vertical, and that it came close to touching or was touching the piece of tape that was on the string marking the position. So you'll see I'm off by a little bit here, and that's okay. Don't dig up a tree just because you're off by a half inch. That's it. Okay. All right, so go plant some trees. And thanks again so much for your help today.